Hi, Virgo. Welcome. So, Virgo, this is going to be your you versus them reading. I'm going to go back and forth between you and the person you may be connecting with. Keep in mind that it's a general reading, so the roles may be reversed. Feel free to flip it if you need to. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't, and let's go ahead and get started. So, Virgo, <laughs> wow. I actually wasn't your turn yet in the rotation to do your reading, but you showed up so predominantly in the Scorpio reading that I had to go and do yours next. So if you have Scorpio in your chart, by the way, or you're dealing with someone who does, definitely check out that reading. Also, Gemini, I have that out as well. Um, and there was a Gemini reference in that reading as well. So... <laughs> Um, let's go ahead and get started though and see what you have coming in for you. You have the eighth house here. So, so funny that Virgo energy was showing up in the Scorpio reading and now we're in the Virgo reading and Scorpio energy showing up. So this is all about investments, intensity, contracts, um, your more sexual nature, your intimate self. Sometimes this can talk about the shadow, uh, Virgo, so something to be aware of. And as I say that, the Page of Swords came out. So the Page of Swords sometimes talks about gossip as well or reading between the lines too much. So be very careful with that, um, Virgo, as we go through this next month or so. And then you have the Knight of Wands in your crowning energy, which is talking about ready for action, ready to do things, ready to get out there, ready to put yourself out there. Some of you are just in this space of like wanting to do more stuff, you know, wanting to do more with your life even. And no way, <laughs> got more Scorpio energy here. Person you're connecting with, they have um, the card of death and transformation and abundance. So this person may be going through some major changes themselves, which I think is interesting given the message I just said about you. Because I feel like this person is changing as well. And what they're changing is what they're committed to, uh, who they're committed to possibly. Um, also, there might be some changes, a change of direction in the financial arena for this person and I feel it being in a positive way but we'll get further into the cards and see but definitely big changes coming in here so uh, let's get into it further and see we're going to look at the recent past and what led up to the now moment then we're gonna look at your headspace and how you're perceiving each other excuse me <laughs> I like a lot of air running through me and I burped a little, I'm sorry. <laughs> My apologies. <laughs> Anyways, we're also going to look at how you feel underneath it all and the big spiritual picture. So let's go. Squir or not Scorpio, Virgo. Virgo, recent past energy for my Virgos. Knight of Wands. The Eight of Wands. So yeah, I get a lot of action-oriented energy here. Like, if you've been feeling stagnant or you've been feeling stuck in your life, I feel like this is a time period where things may be speeding up quite rapidly for you because you're just in that space. No way. More Scorpio energy. Some of you definitely have Scorpio in your chart or dealing with one. Or maybe Scorpio season will be important. That's uh, October, November. Um, I don't know if October, November time frame is important to you, but it's been highlighted three times. So <laughs> take note of that. Anyways, yeah, I just feel like you're in this space of like, you know what? I'm ready for change. I'm ready for action. I'm ready to do things like I want to do things, you know, but like things that are meaningful, things that uh, I'm getting the word productive have some sort of productivity behind them. Um, and I feel like you're ready for action, you know, ready for things to move forward. Some of you are in this space too of, uh, maybe even wanting to take some risks after, but I feel like these are calculated risks. Like, I don't feel like you going out there and like impulsively, you know, throwing your life up in the air, but I feel like you've spent a lot of time like thinking about, and just stating on what it is that you want to manifest for yourself. And now it's to the breaking point where it's just like, you know, now or never, do or die. Let's go for this. Okay. So let's see what this person's uh, recent past energy 
don't know what they have going on. The Tower. I don't even think I could get any more references to Scorpio season right now. <laughs> like, what the heck? All right, big changes. The Tower coming out here for this person. I think Tarot is so funny like that. Because I actually started with the Gemini reading and there was Scorpio references. So I'm like, all right, let me do Scorpio next. And Scorpio's reading, there was Virgo references. So I thought, like, okay, let's do Virgo next. It's almost like one leading into the next, leading into the next right now. Um, which isn't that all of life. Anyways, Seven of Wands and the Lovers. So this person has been emotionally drained by some changes that's occurred in their life, but I feel like they've ultimately come to peace with it and now are looking for like a greater sense of purpose or like a greater sense of connection, um, particularly if they feel a strong connection with you. So whatever has rocked this person's boat, and I heard rocked them to the core, so this was a major change and it's falling under uh commitments something they were committed to it it almost ended them and i and i'm being playful with that because there's no end and there's no beginning but they may have felt that way like wow this is going to be it for me this is the end for me only to come to some sort of peace with it and then ultimately reconnecting with self and possibly a connection or this connection so let's go further and see uh, what's going on in the now energy that's what led up to the now and see how you perceive each other in the current moment how do you see each other for my Virgos Queen of Pentacles there's that page of swords that's come out twice the Emperor there's something that is funny here. There's like, a, I don't know if there's trust issues or something you don't trust about a situation, but it's, or maybe there's a lot of gossip around the connection, a lot of outsider gossip. You may or may not even be aware of that Virgo. Um, but I feel like you have a suspicion. Some of you suspicion that like there's some sort of gossip around something to deal with the connection. Um, your suspicion's correct, at least according to my cards. But anyways, <laughs> uh, Queen of Pentacles, the Emperor, the Page of Swords, Two of Swords, and the Chariot. So there's a sense, there's a sense of pride showing up here, Virgo, in your energy. Um, and they're saying a prideful tactic as well being used or something to deal with that. Um, I feel like you're someone who takes great pride in self, you know, and your ability to create for yourself. Not saying you don't have any insecurities, you do. And sometimes you have trouble trusting your own intuition or trusting yourself, which results in you not being able to fully trust others. See, people think their trust issues stem from others, but it always stems with, a deep rooted sense of not trusting oneself. Because if you truly trust yourself and your intuition, it doesn't matter what other people are up to or what they're doing because you got you. That's the true meaning of trust. It's about self, right? But a lot of times people wanna make it about others. You need to make me trust you. No, you need to learn how to trust yourself and through trusting yourself and being indifferent to what I'm thinking and doing the situation improves or the person who's not to be trusted migrates out of your experience. That's where your true power is, Virgo. Some of you have been battling with something like that or like trust issues in the connection and thinking it's about the other person and it's about self. So um, there's a movement forward from that energy though. I feel like you're ready to move forward from that. So. I feel like you don't like that feeling of insecurity, okay? Some of you may have even pushed away because you felt like, you know, that that was going to help. And maybe it does temporarily help to kind of shove away. But it, it you take you with you wherever you go. So you also take your issues with you. <laughs> so it's only ever temporary relief when we move ourselves physically away from something. It's the spiritual work we're looking to do. 
but I feel you are ready to move past this Virgo. It's like you're gaining more trust in yourself to the point where it's like, yeah, I don't want to feel the sense of insecurity anymore and I'm ready to move past this stage. So let's see this person, what they have going on. How do they see the connection? See, now some of you have been hesitant to move forward in the connection because of trust issues. But see, that's probably why I went into that spiel because you're looking for that reassurance in all the wrong places. All right, so the Hermit, the Knight of Pentacles, the Knight of Swords, and the Ace of Wands. So Virgo, this person has definitely done some self-reflecting because they've been through something that really drained them uh, emotionally, okay? It could be also financially in the past, but I feel like they too are like ready to kind of push past that and move forward and yet it seems like things are so slow to change or slow to move and they almost want to like hasten it up or like just like hurry up and get to the good part, which... I don't remember if that was your reading that I got that title from, but that was in someone else's reading. But it's like their their desire to feel good is so strong that it's literally pushing them to change something or to move towards something. So I feel like this person has kind of sat on and reflected on what they wanted for long enough and now ready to kind of go after what they're very passionate about. And if it's this connection, then that's what they're going towards. So let's go deeper then and see what's going on in the emotions and the heart space. How do you feel about this person? Here we go. The wheel. Oh my God. Who's dealing with the Scorpio? I didn't even know I had this many cards of Scorpio. And or Scorpio season. Mid, no, end of October to middle of November. Mark your calendar. And or look back to last October, last November, and think about what was going on then. Because there is something there. <laughs> something to take note of. The Death card. The Five of Swords. This is what's happening in the heart space. I heard screaming, but I think it's my dog. All right, the hangman. What are they seeing differently? What are they seeing differently? Seven of Pentacles. So, Virgo, holy cow. Oh, so definitely learned your lesson. Yes, I uh, went through some major changes, major endings, some of you major loss in the past. Uh, oh, this is like, this is like, this is major. Like these are things, these are major obstacles that you are either currently overcoming or have overcome in the past. That's almost completely changed your perspective about life, about others, about relationships. And yet at the same time, it's put you on solid ground. It's helped you to know what is of true value to you. What is worth putting your time and energy into and what drains you, what sucks the life out of you. And kind of moving away and moving in the direction instead towards the things that fill you up and, you know, fill your cup up. But these are some wounds here that leave scars and it's not always so easy to just, you know, remove those from our heart. Which in the Scorpio reading, the song was, I obliterate you from my heart. And I just got, oh, how the tables have turned. All right, I don't, okay. Oh. If you have Scorpio and you're Lilith or you're Mars, this is especially true. Or Moon as well. You might have a vengeful streak here. <laughs> 
some of you got a point to prove. You know, like, if you, you got a point to prove. Like, you didn't get the best of me. Life did not get the best of me. But I'm going to get the best of you. You know, like, whoo. But you know what? Sometimes this energy is a great motivator. Sometimes needing, sometimes that feeling of needing to prove yourself actually can motivate you out of a very dark period. And what you end up doing is improving yourself, improving self, which you ought, which you essentially prove to self what you've known all along, which is you can do it and you're worthy. Sometimes we be trying to prove things to others and it benefits us. You know, <laughs> like I feel like <laughs> that's, so there's some weird message about that, Virgo. I can't say I've ever gotten that one before. So let's go into this person's emotional space and see. Page of Pentacles, the Knight of Wands. Yeah, this person's looking to where they can invest their time and energy. You know, they, they're looking for movement and action as well, a reason to feel good. Um, they thought a lot about what it is that they want, um, Virgo, and where they want to put their time and energy. And where they're wanting to invest it is into a stable home or a stable career, a stable relationship. It doesn't matter. They want stability. And yet they fear they cannot have it because of their past experience. Sometimes this person gets caught in thoughts about that. And how they were brought to their knees and they don't want to experience that again. And sometimes it gets to them. But ultimately, I actually feel like this person has found peace with that. And they've done the self-reflection. And now they're like, all right, it's time to start to try again, to start again, to give it all I've got, to establish myself again. I got the word re-establishment. So let's go into the most likely next outcome. It's your card flies. That was the three of pentacles. I'll pick it up in a second. The sun. Nine of Wands. Oh. <laughs> I mean to make that noise. <laughs> ah. And the heavens shined. All right. <laughs> wow, this looks beautiful. So, Virgo, this is you getting your ish together, getting it together, finding your happiness, finding the missing puzzle piece. And having the confidence to go towards who and what you want. But I don't even feel like you're going towards it. I feel like you're attracting it. You're attracting it through your vibration. But first you got to get rid of this need to prove. This desire to prove. There's a little bit of a mean streak here. And that's going to slow things down for you, Virgo. Because Source is never going to agree with you in those lower vibrations. It will not judge you. But it's also not going to fill you up. So it's like there's all this action wanting to take place and there's new beginnings here and yet there's these trusty trust issues, gossipy, kind of very low level ego driven energy that blocks you from seeing as much progress as you could be seeing. You are seeing progress. You are getting progress, but you could be going it could be going a lot faster if you were to be able to kind of move away from the snarkiness. <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> sorry, that's the word that gave me, don't kill the messenger. <laughs> um, because what's waiting for you here, and see, you're a little hesitant, which is funny, because you know what, sometimes though, we get so used to not getting what we want in life or not being happy that we almost don't trust it when good things start coming and that's what this is that's what this is this is like good things coming but you've been trained to be skeptical and so you're being skeptical about your own blessings that are raining down on you 
And that skepticism is not going to stop the blessings, but it is going to decrease your appreciation of them. And it won't feel as good as it could feel. You know, but a lot, a lot of us have gotten used to not feeling good all the time. So much so that we dwell in negative thoughts and emotions much longer than we were ever meant to when we were born on this earth. But it's time for you to raise the bar, Virgo, and stop tolerating those emotions because they disempower you. Because nothing feels better than to be in alignment. Nothing feels better than to feel love for self and look upon others and feel love for them as well. And also, that's where the sweet spot is. That's what's going to get you what you want. And what wants to come through is people who want to work with you. A sense of belonging, a sense of connection, SEX, your intimacy life of improving or returning, confidence, soulmate, completion. Can't get any better than that. I might title this reading, can't get any better than that. <laughs> Let's see what uh, this person's most likely future outcome is. Ace of Swords, Queen of Wands, Eight of Wands. Three of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles. Awesome. So I feel like Scorpio, not Scorpio, dang it, Virgo. I'm sorry if I ever called you Scorpio. It's just that it's all over the map, Scorpio energy. Um, <laughs> Virgo, this person, they're ready. They've thought about this. They've thought long and hard about this, all right? They, they know what they want now. They're ready to move forward. They're ready to work on themselves, on things, on the connection for some of you. They are in support of a commitment. This person's come full circle. See, they had some sort of change ending or loss here, and it was around something or someone they were committed to, this is in the past, come to peace with it, kind of found their connection with self again, did some self-reflection, it took a while, but they moved forward. Now they're ready to start over, plant a seed. They thought about what they want and they want stability, they're for sure about that. And now they're back to where they began, which is wanting to commit. <laughs> Isn't that funny how circular life is? This person's come full circle, uh, Virgo, and that's kind of where they're at with everything right now. So, wow. wow. No wonder I felt called to do your reading. Let's see what the guidance is then for Virgo. Oh my gosh, I love tarot. I could not make this up. I got the card of new beginnings. I just got done saying this person is going through a cycle that's ended and now they're at the beginning point again and I get the card of new beginnings. Everything in life is constantly vibrating, moving and therefore continuously changing and evolving. Be aware that a new beginning is on the horizon. Have courage and faith because right now life is nudging you forward. It's almost like this person's getting a new beginning or like some sort of fresh start but it's cyclic or like it's it's like they've been here before, but the faces, places, time is different now. Let's see what your, yours says relationships. <laughs> relationships are a mirror image of your own life. How you feel and treat yourself as well as how you react and respond to different situations and people around you are mirrored in your relationships. Be aware that every relationship is an opportunity for soul growth. Remember what I was saying about the trust thing, thinking it's about another person when it's really about yourself. Well, that's how life mirrors it back to you. When you don't trust self, you do tend to attract distrust or untrusting people because you attract what you feel and predominantly think about yourself. And this is a reminder to you that relationships act as a mirror, but they also act as a catalyst for your development, your growth, and also for your joy. So, Virgo, awesome reading. I just high-fived myself. <laughs> Sorry. 
feeling a little extra today. Okay. Um, <laughs> zodiac signs that you could be connecting with or having your own chart. I've got Gemini, Scorpio, Gemini, Scorpio, Gemini, Scorpio. It's all over this reading. Please go watch the Scorpio reading and maybe the Gemini reading. I don't even care if it's in your chart or you're dealing with anyone. I feel like you're going to resonate for sure with Scorpio reading. But I also have Gemini, Scorpio, all over. But uh, Aquarius here and Virgo could be doing another Virgo. Leo, Cancer, um, Aries, and Taurus energy. Those are the predominant signs I'm seeing, but keep in mind as a general reading, so take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If it did resonate, please do let me know in the comments below. Also, don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss out on any future readings. Hit that little notification uh, bell below. And if you would like to, you can follow me on Facebook and Instagram for more fun stuff. Tarot Time with Dana is the name of all my social media. Um, all of it linked in the description box below as well as in the chat box. A chat box. I'm done for today. In the about section of my YouTube. Otherwise, I'm wishing you the very, very best Virgo. Until next time. Stay. Bye.